if he wants to, if he wants to move up, vacate the belts, I'll become, I'll find a way to become champion at 147 once again, you know. Um, my pride will dislike it, you know, um, because we want to compete with champions. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Keith One Time Thurman. 30 wins, one loss, no draw. 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 8, with a 69 inch arm reach. Keith Thurman, he fought for the unified titles back in March of 2017 against former two-division world champion Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia. At the time, Keith Thurman held the WBA title. Danny Garcia held the WBC title. Uh, Keith Thurman, he beat Danny Garcia, okay? Picked up the WBC and the WBA title. Keith Thurman never defended those titles, okay? Keith Thurman, he went on a hiatus. I know people... They get upset. They say, Blue, he didn't go on a hiatus. Keith Thurman got injured, right? Uh, Keith Thurman wasn't available. Nonetheless, Keith Thurman, he went on a hiatus. Nobody truly knew what was going on with Keith Thurman, why Keith Thurman was inactive, okay? Um, but nonetheless, Keith Thurman from the Danny Garcia fight, March, March 4th of 2017, okay? Uh, Keith Thurman, he won against Danny Garcia's split decision. We didn't see Keith Thurman back in the ring until January of 2019 when he took on and defeated Josito Lopez, but he looked vulnerable. Then in July of that year, now keep in mind, the World Boxing Council, better known as WBC, Mauricio Suleiman is the president, board of 32 members, okay? Uh, they stripped Keith Thurman of the WBC title due to inactivity, to which Danny Garcia ended, uh, eventually ended up uh, fighting for that WBC title that he lost to Keith Thurman against uh, two-time welterweight world champion, now retired future Hall of Fame superstar boxer, Showtime Sean Porter, to which Sean Porter beat Danny Garcia as well. Okay, so Keith Thurman was stripped of the WBC title. Then Keith Thurman, he fought against uh, legendary eight-division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, okay? Uh, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, he defeated Keith Thurman, okay? Uh, split decision for the WBA title. So now at that time, he only held the WBA title, okay? Uh, and from there, Keith Thurman had one fight. So total, since the Danny Garcia fight in 2017, uh, which is going on six years, right? Because we're going into 2023, and clearly Keith Thurman is not going to fight in 2023 because we are in November of 2023 now. Okay, uh, this is going. This is the first week of November of 2023, uh, 2022. Okay, excuse me. So he's not going to fight until 2023. So he fought Danny Garcia in, in March, first part of uh, uh, of 2017, March 4th of 2017. So Keith Thurman has had a total of three fights since that Danny Garcia fight in six years. In six years. Uh, after the Pacquiao loss, he took another hiatus. He came back in 2022 of this year, February of this year, and he fought Mario Barrios. He looked vulnerable in that fight, but he won the fight nonetheless. In that fight, ironically enough, the WBC decided that they was going to make... Now, follow me now. So, Sean Porter ends up beating Danny Garcia, okay? Okay, so now I want y'all to follow me. Sean Porter beats Danny Garcia, okay, for the vacant WBC title that the WBC stripped Keith Thurman of. So Sean Porter beats Danny Garcia. Sean Porter then goes on to defend that WBC title against now former WBA uh, um, uh, welterweight world champion Cuban star boxer, your Dana Sugis, okay? Uh, after he beats your Dana Sugis, he goes in September of, of 2019, Sean Porter fights against your Dana Sugis. I mean, against Errol Spence. So now follow me. Uh, September of 2018, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter fight. Sean Porter beats Danny Garcia. 
uh, March of 2019, Sean Porter defends the WBC title against Yadanis Ugas. He's successful. He wins a split decision. In September of 2019, he fights now Errol Spence in a unification bout. Now, what's interesting here to note is this, okay, is that Errol Spence, okay, in uh, May of 2017, he beat Special K, Kel Brook, former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, for his first world title opportunity, okay, uh, uh, and um, for his first world title opportunity, and uh, he won the title, okay, that was May. So March of that year, two months prior, Keith Thurman beats Danny Garcia. Uh, Keith Thurman's the unified champion. Errol Spence beats Kel Brook. Errol Spence is then calling for a fight against uh, Keith, Keith Thurman for a unification bout. They're both with the PBC, Premier Boston Champion, founder and advisor, Al Heyman, you know, uh, and it should be an easy fight to be made. They're both on the same side, right? Keith Thurman gives Errol Spence the runaround, never gives him the fight, okay? Uh, Keith Thurman tells everybody who will listen, okay, that, uh, um, you know, um, he tells everybody who would listen, you know, that, uh, um, that, you know, uh, the Errol Spence fight is going to come soon enough, but not right now. It's not ready. It's going to build up. The young pup is going to get his opportunity. He completely gives him the runaround point blank and period, right? Completely gives him the runaround, right? Now, he loses the WBC title, then he loses the WBA title. So Sean Porter beats Danny Garcia for it. Sean Porter, September 2019, fights Errol Spence. Errol Spence beats Sean Porter and unifies the belts. Now, Errol Spence, the IBF champion, he beat Kel Brook. He was calling for the Keith Thurman fight. Keith Thurman didn't want to make it happen. Errol Spence, now, now keep in mind, Keith Thurman was calling out uh, Kel Brook, though. He was heavily calling out Kel Brook. He wanted to unify against Kel Brook. But then Kel Brook had to fight his mandatory was Errol Spence. Errol Spence beat him, and then suddenly Keith Thurman backed off of wanting that IBF title, right? He slowed his roll. Errol Spence, he beats Sean Porter now for that WBC title that Keith Thurman has. Now Errol Spence holds the WBC and the IBF, right? Keith Thurman is not in sight. There's no talky Keith Thurman. There's nothing, right? At this point, Errol Spence has had it up to here with Keith Thurman. Wants nothing to do with Keith Thurman because... In between time, Errol, Keith Thurman is doing interviews. Keith Thurman is telling the world that, um, you know, uh, when he does come back, because remember, he's on another hiatus. When he does come back, right, after the Manny Pacquiao loss, it's a get back year. He's not going to fight Errol Spence, right? It's a get back year for him to get his feet wet, get acclimated back to the sport, uh, uh, introduce himself back to the fans, get back year, right? Cool. Errol Spence has had enough of Keith Thurman, right? Errol Spence then suffers that horrific car accident just 10 days, 12 days after unifying the belts against Sean Porter. Okay, he suffers a horrific car accident to which Errol Spence, you know, is out the ring now 14 months. But obviously it's a horrific accident. WBA, I mean, excuse me, IBF, WBC, don't strip him of the titles. He comes back March of, uh, March 5th of 2020. He fights Danny Garcia. He beats Danny Garcia. He's supposed to have a unification bout against Manny Pacquiao. He suffers a broken or detached retina, eye injury, that sees him uh, uh, um, out the ring again for another year. He comes back. Manny Pacquiao fights Yadanis Ugas. Yadanis Ugas beats Manny Pacquiao, dominates Manny Pacquiao, and convincingly beats Manny Pacquiao. And now uh, Yadanis Ugas is the champion. Errol Spence comes back this year, April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. He beats Yadanis Ugas uh, for the belt. Now, keep in mind, Keith Thurman, we ain't seen nothing of Keith Thurman, heard from Keith Thurman since he lost to Manny Pacquiao, July of 2019. February of this year, three years later, almost three years later, we have a Keith Thurman sighting against Mario Barrios, a guy and Mario Barrios, who is a WBA junior welterweight title uh, uh, regular champion, who lost to a guy who was a three division champion, undefeated superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, arguably the most or the second most exciting fighter in the, in the sport of boxing currently, 
only behind the heavyweight Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion superstar, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Nonetheless, Javante Tank Davis was fighting at 130 pounds. He moved up from 130 fighting four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz. From 130 to 140, challenged Mario Barrios for his regular title. Drops Mario Barrios three times and gets a knockout, 11th round knockout victory over Mario Barrios, right? Knocks out Mario Barrios, right? Mario Barrios doesn't get a get back fight, doesn't get back in the win column. He then moves up from 140 to 147. His first fight at welterweight is against Keith Thurman, coming off a knockout loss, dominating bad loss to Mario to Javante Tang Davis. Okay. He fights Keith Thurman at welterweight, his first title, his first fight back. Keith Thurman fights Mario Barrios. Keith Thurman struggles against Mario Barrios. Shows vulnerabilities. Mario Barrios hurts him to the body. Uh, Mario Barrios uh, two times showed Keith Thurman running around the ring, spitting out his mouthpiece, hurt badly. Keith Thurman admits if Mario Barrios was a better athlete and could catch up to me, he would have put me down and possibly even stopped me. But the WBC decided to make that a WBC mandatory title eliminator for Errol Spence's WBC title to force this Keith Thurman Errol Spence fight on Errol Spence because it's abundantly clear right that um they have more interest in making Errol Spence and Keith Thurman than anything else including the biggest fight in boxing which is Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford okay and so suddenly Keith Thurman becomes the mandatory for Errol Spence and Errol Spence's WBC title. Okay. Out of nowhere, they leapfrog the IBF and the WBA mandatories. Which is very strange because we know the WBA was pushing for your Dana Sugis to fight against a main and onus so much so that we didn't even think we was going to get Errol Spence versus your Dana Sugis in the unification bout because they was pushing Stanley onus versus Ugas. Ugas was petitioning. He was crying on social media, literally real tears. Uh, he felt like he was being slighted. He felt like he was being set up. He didn't like it. He petitioned, petitioned, petitioned. And they finally came to an uh, agreement and said, okay, well, the winner has to face a man and Stanley onus. They was next. Then the IBF, Earl Spence didn't satisfy an IBF fight since 2018 when he fought Carlos Ocampo. So he's more than due, which means Jerron Boots Ennis is up on deck. So he should be next. But somehow, some way, they convene, come together, the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF, and they decide that the WBC should be the lead and that Keith Thurman should be the mandatory. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? And now Keith Thurman finally resurfaces and says this. If he wants to, if he wants to move up, vacate the belts, I'll become, I'll finally become champion at 147 once again, you know. Um, my pride will dislike it, you know, um, because we want to compete with champions. We so you hear that, right? So Errol Spence has informed that he may move up and Keith Thurman says, if he moves up, then I'll find a way because now he's going to have to scramble because Errol Spence holds three belts. He's going to have to go the... Now, he's going to go the WBC route, right? Because he ain't going to go the route of fighting Jerron Ennis. He ain't going to go the route of fighting the man in standing onus. So he'll go the route of the WBC, right? Which will find a way to not make it Virgil Ortiz Jr., undefeated Mexican superstar welterweight title contender. Who's 19 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age. They'll find a way not to have to order him fighting Virgil Ortiz, and they'll find somebody else for Keith Thurman to fight to become the WBC champion. So listen. If he wants to, if he wants to move up, vacate the belts, I'll become, I'll find a way to become champion at 147 once again, you know. Um, my pride will dislike it, you know, um, because we want to compete with champions. We so you hear Keith Thurman. His pride is not going to like it because he wants to beat Errol Spence for the belt. But when Errol Spence had the belt, he didn't want to fight him in a unification bout. So Errol Spence informs him that he could possibly be moving up. So let's see how this unfolds. But that's all I got for y'all. 
make sure you hit the like button drop a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all in one word y'all already know what it is shout out to the entire l d b c shout out to black media row make sure you like and share these videos that's all i got for y'all peace